What I like in conversational AI system is also the learning side. You know, when we used to deliver IT project, you know, you do a lot of hard work and then you go live and then that's it. You obviously in maintenance mode, but when you're in a conversational AI system, there's all that learning, uh, learning of, you know, different ways of uh, expressing an issue or different subtlety on, on how to deal with the process. So the learning element, I think, is really, really uh, key. And, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is um, I'm thinking now a few years back, a lot of years back, in the early days, and this is one of the patterns we created uh, with my team at the Liquid Studio in London, um, we uh, wanted to put a telephony system uh, with the uh, Irish Revenue Commissioner at the time. Uh, and and it, the, the rationale for them wanting to kind of put a conversational AI system was that it was a new tax that they had uh, created in Ireland. And suddenly uh, this particular tax was impacting the older generation, which were not in their working life any longer. Uh, and therefore, you know, much more uh, old fashioned uh, way of dealing with that particular tax. Yeah. Um, uh, because, you know, the people were just in retirement, basically. Um, and, and that was created, that particular tax introduction created quite a bit of a volume of queries coming in on phone calls. And we started to uh, create this conversational AI system. And at the time, we had some challenge around the, the pace of it because he was on the phone. And, um, you know, at the time you had to wait for a pause in the sentence to be able to understand uh, what the person was saying and then, you know, decide the next step. And that was quite tricky because we thought that that particular pause was too long for the conversation to be interactive. So that's where we created that patent on continuous listening of the conversation so we could understand on the fly. So we didn't have as much latency into the conversation. And, and one of the, so, so we were going to go live for one week to start, you know, capturing all those data and those experiences uh, and learn you know, uh, how, how, you know, what we needed to address and things like that. And then we never switched off the system. Uh, but we had daily, uh, daily review, daily uh, learning sessions and things like that. And, you know, one of our biggest success is we had an 85 year old lady, which was the one of the first uh, user of the systems and she went through and everything got sorted she got the tax code on whatever she needed and she was in a special scenario of being um, uh, uh, disabled so you know in that particular interaction we solved the problem spot on uh, because we, you know, we ask her some question is, are you responding to a letter we sent to you, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, so we were trying to really get under the bonnet who, who was calling us early. So we could really make it as friendly as possible. We saved uh, a lot of us all because it would have probably been forcing some of the family to take her to the tax office and da, 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 and all of that kind of things. And it could have been a... a you know, a, a big thing where it's just been a less than three minute call, basically. <laughs> oh, I love that.